food in the spare room? Um, there is, but you don't eat it. Can you have sex in the spare room? Anything like what we have? No. Okay. What's it's, it like? Well, it's more intense. Okay. See, most of the experiences in the spirit world are more intense than they are here. Like, for instance, eating. You know, for most of you, most, most of you will really realise with your taste buds that they're not actually really taste buds in a way, they're connected to your smell. So if you block your nose while you're eating, you know that it's very, very hard for you to taste something. Agree? In fact, I've done a test on this. There was this guy in England who could tell the difference between 5,000 different types of tea. He could tell you the percentages that were in each type of tea and everything. The doctors told him that it was all due to his smell, and he said, no, it's due to my taste. Anyway, what they did is they blocked his nasal passages up from underneath and also front, and he couldn't tell the difference between tea and coffee <laughs> just because of his smell. Now, in the spirit world, the way you eat is through your smell. But anyway, that's inside. <laughs> sex, is, sex is similar, though, in that the sexual organs that we have in the physical body are just a reflection of some sexual organs that are in the spirit, in the spirit body. They don't look the same but that they, are, they have a similar response to a heightened degree. So you, you do have sex in the spirit world, and it is much more intense when you've dealt with your emotions than it is here on Earth, in the physical body, unless you completely deal with your emotions.